With a voice that could sing R&B, pop, and jazz, Natalie Cole was destined for fame. Tonight, the music world remembers the singer-songwriter. At the Apollo Theater in Harlem, a tribute to the Grammy winner, who died last night in Los Angeles from congestive heart failure. Natalie Cole followed in the footsteps of her famous father, Nat King Cole. She even sang a virtual duet with him back in 1991. She found her own voice and success along the way. Cole won the first of nine Grammys in 1975 with the hit, This Will Be. In 1979, she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But through years of success, there were setbacks. Cole developed an addiction to drugs and alcohol, entering a rehab program in 1983. It was such a, a revelation, actually, for me to start liking myself after all these years. I didn't realize I was still grieving for my father at 30-something. Cole was later diagnosed with hepatitis C and liver disease. She underwent a kidney transplant in 2009. I am a walking testimony to you can have scars, you can go through turbulent times and still have victory in your life. Cole recently canceled several tour dates, including a New Year's Eve performance due to her health. Natalie Cole was 65 years old. Cole is survived by a son and two sisters who say she died with dignity, strength, and honor. Singer Aretha Franklin called Natalie Cole one of the greatest singers of our time. Franklin wrote, she represented the Cole legend of excellence and class quite well. Singer Tony Bennett said Natalie was an exceptional jazz singer and it was an honor to have recorded and performed with her. And Patti LaBelle said she will truly be missed, but her light will shine forever.